Hey guys, welcome to episode 6 of the Plymouth Argyle career mode. We start off by looking at the fixtures in the table, we've got FA Cup first, but we're flying high in the table, 5 points clear of Sheffield Wednesday in 3rd, and hopefully we can maintain that sort of gap and get automatic promotion this season. That's the main aim. Quick look at the transfers that have been complete so far, James Wilson's gone, houghton has gone, Galloway's going, Grant's going, Mayer's going, Gillespie's going, and Hamer's coming in for Edwards and six hundred k. So we've got a lot of rebuilding to do when we get to January. But at first, let's deal with the first part of December. If you're enjoying these sort of videos, guys, please like and subscribe. It's really imp important and really appreciated to know that people are enjoying this content. And thank you so much for watching. We're keeping our same lineup as we normally do, and we're straight into the action in the sixth minute. Corner out to the edge of the box to Whitaker, looking for the finesse shot into the corner. Doesn't quite make it, it's a good save. So the ball breaks down and it's turned over by Atkinson. So the board want us to make last 16 in the FA Cup, which I can't see happening, but getting past Atkinson's the first job. As a good link on play down the left with Meyer, ball comes into Randall, tries a finesse shot, great save by their keeper, and it goes out for another corner. We started working on this corner routine, playing it to the edge of the box but it didn't work out this time. Edwards turns the ball over though and we keep it alive. It goes back to Randall, into Whitaker. Whitaker shapes the shoot and finally we do find that bottom corner. It's a great finish. Those finesse shots into the bottom corner are really, really impressive this season and I love those sort of goals. Going across the keeper, great turn and he buries it into the bottom corner. Whitaker's been superb this season and he's only on loan so we need to make the, the decision in January whether we bring in our own player, do we look to buy Whitaker on a permanent or you know we've got Jacobs who's coming through the youth ranks. Another one of our youth players Green plays it into Hardy, plays it through to Randall but what a great save by the Eccleton keeper there. Into the dying embers of the first half now, Mayo's carrying the ball forward, finesse shot and it's palmed away again by their goalie. Their goalie is on top form in this match so far. Getting out to the edge of the box to Whitaker, tried to get it out of his feet but it's blocked off by the defender and that should have been half time but Randall's kept it alive into Hardy but it's blocked and Atkinson bring the ball away and the half time whistle blows. So a good first half performance but we really need that second goal and May is there pushing us forward, Hardy beats his defender but again another one handed save by the Atkinson goalkeeper. He has been superb so far in this game. Ball out again to Whitaker. Again, he's losing that header, so we probably need to change this tactic going forward. But we recycle the ball into Mayer's feet. Ackerton pinch it back off us. Long White picks it up, though. Not the player we want in this area. Plays it into Whitaker. Good feet. Oh, that's fortunate. And it's a great finish. Two goals for Whitaker there. We're very lucky with the way the ball rebounded to him rather than the defender bringing it away. But some excellent footwork by the winger actually gave us a great opportunity there to make it two. The face model on Long Wake is really needs working on, but I can't see FIFA fixing that anytime soon. Great little trick there by Whitaker to put it back through his own legs, opens up his body and plants it in that bottom corner. 2 0 then, but it was straight back into the highlights from the kickoff with Accrington looking to peg us straight back. Torre in midfield. D'Alfonso. Good block by Houghton, who's been converted to a CB, but he will be moving on from the club in the January window. We've got an offer from Middlesbrough that we couldn't really turn down. As as is for on goal, and we've scored to make it 3 0. Great to see Azaz back from injury, back in the first team and scoring goals. He's another lone player, but he is quality. And again, like Whitaker, we could look to sign him in January or at least at the end of the season. Great carry by Mea, plays it through and Azaz makes no error there, straight through the keeper. Great finish by the young winger. 63rd minute now, Aquinton applying pressure, it's into Torre. Plays it to D'Alfonso, hits it first time into the bottom corner. Disappointing goal to concede, but again, our centre-backs need improvement, and that's one area we need to cover in January, especially with Gillespie, Wilson, both leaving, and Houghton leaving as well. So you look at our back three there, nobody's picked up Torre. 
left centre back comes across Gillespie and leaves D'Alfonso all on his own. But it's a great finish by the former Villa player into the bottom corner past the despairing dive of Cooper. A few minutes later now and Accrington back on the attack. Come out to meet them, but again, like Mayer's defensive awareness there was just so stand you know, standstill. But thankfully we get it away. That is one of the most FIFA goals to concede, I think, ever. Tried to blast the clearance away and it's gone straight to their man on the edge of the box. Keep can't do anything about it and that's 3-2. We look so comfortable at 3-0, but with 20 minutes of the game remaining, 3-2 is not great. So we're trying to clear it and it's, oh, it's deflected off our defender, hasn't it? And it's just landed at McConville's feet. First time volley, half volley into the top corner. It's a great goal, great finish, there's nothing taken away from that, it's just frustrating when you try and clear the ball and it goes straight to their man. Torre here through on goal, our centre backs are just, I don't know where they're going, we need to probably look at the tactics, maybe the instructions, because at the minute they're all over the place. It's also an argument for the quality as well, We're obviously we've got League One players in defence here, and probably more used to better players. As we come towards the end of the game now, Ennis is on for Hardy up front. And he links up with Whitaker. Ball onto Azaz. Tried to play into Whitaker there, but obviously it went back the wrong way. Accrington might get their last chance to grab a replay. Tried a couple of tackles there, a couple of fouls to break the play up. And he's McConville for on goal. <sighs> and we just blast it clear. Let's just get rid of it. Let's keep the ball. And that's thankfully the end of the game. That could have been really bad for us at the end there because we just couldn't get rid of the ball so for the rest of this episode we'll be covering the games against bristol rovers barnsley and we've also got wickham in the johnson's paint trophy so we'll sim the game against bristol rovers bristol rovers obviously managed by joe Barton in real life um having a good season they're a decent league one side and hopefully yes we get the one nil win Three clear-cut chances, so it could have been more. Hardy did have a goal disallowed on 62 minutes, but Matt Butcher gets the only goal of the game to see us through. So a three-point game in the league. We're nine points clear of our next four fixture. Barnsley, who are fifth, but more importantly, we're seven points clear of Sheffield Wednesday in third. So a win over Barnsley would really give us an opportunity to cement our place in the top two. Automatic promotion is obviously the aim and we'll make one change to the team for this match with Azaz coming in for Whittaker on the right. But other than that, it's as usual. Hardy's up to a 70, Cooper's a 70 and keeping hold of both of those in January could be really tricky. Green continues to impress at left wing back and hopefully he can continue to progress and we can keep him for a long time. He can become a one club hero. But as he progresses, we may have to sell, as is the nature of the game. So we start with Barnsley with the ball, Hovi Kane in midfield, into Tedic. Delante Cole looks to Aitchison. Aitchison tries to get past our defence. Cole's through. Oh, it's a good save. Great catch by Cooper. Good hands. As most people know who watch career mode saves or play career mode, it's important to have a good keeper. But here we are back on the attack. As as simple tap in. Very easy goal for Mayer. He fully deserves his move in January to Blackburn and will be playing the second half of the season in the Championship. It's sad to sell players that have been at the club for a long time. It's really important to keep them as best we can. But at the same point, he's ageing. He's at the, I think he's in his 30s. He's not going to really develop anymore. And he's had an excellent season. And it's a realistic bid from a well-known club in the division above. So we had to sell, really. But Mayer makes it 1-0 and we'll enjoy him while we still can, while we've got him. So far this season, 17 goals in 23 matches, but Barnsley straight on the attack with the high press, Herbie Kane on the left, plays it back to Cadden, who we are scouting as a possible left back backup, into Aitchison, and it's another big save by Cooper. Green brings it away to Mayer, Mayer plays it into Butcher, and we look for Hardy on the through ball, and we've turned defence into attack beautifully. Hardy threw on goal, oh, he's hit the crossbar, and it's well cleared by their defence. Hardy's been in great form this season too, and you know, once again, like I said at the start, top of the game, keeping him could be very tricky. We're back on the attack, Mayer holds the ball up on the left, into Butcher's feet, 
Looking one more time for that through ball to Hardy, but Barnsley will bring the ball away. Cadden into McCarthy, and that will be half time as Anderson brings the ball away. Yeah, half time whistle blows, and we're 1 0 up at, against Barnsley. This could be a huge three points if we can keep hold of this at Oakwell as we keep looking to build on that gap away from third place Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday, of course, who we, who we did the career mode with on FIFA 22, so it'd be great to see them come up with us, but hopefully we can cement our place in the top two. Nice footwork there into Hardy, but unfortunately the Barnsley defence just crowd us out and it's Devante Cole to bring the ball away. Giving loads of space here. And there's a three ball, and that's 1-1. One, one. This is frustrating in FIFA. This is one of the things that really gets me is why Lundwijk was so far away from the rest of the defensive line. Look, he's kept running back, he's kept running back, he's kept running back. He's on the penalty spot. And the rest of the defence were outside of the 18-yard box. And he's given their striker one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. If he was next to their defender and marking him, I could understand dropping back. But it's just not good enough. Barnsley clear away our corner. It goes out to Green. Well composed into Lundwijk. Into Butcher. Nice... One touch football, but Hardy just can't hold the ball up. Butchers won it back though. Through ball, oh, great finish into the bottom corner there. Love the goal by Randall. Floating ball, good old FIFA highlight. Love to see Randall getting a couple more goals this season. Because at the start of the year, when we first kept playing him, all the press conferences were about Randall. Why is he in the team? Should he still be in the team? Thankfully, he's repaying my faith with another beautiful finish, curved into the bottom corner past their goalie to make it 2-1. Barnsley back on the attack. Cole's been a nuisance the whole game and he's looking to bring his midfield in. Herbie Kane onto Cadden. Back to Kane. Onto Cole. Cadden's making the overlapping run. Can we just push him out? Back to Kane. Cadden. Oh. I thought that was going in. I thought the way that was looping, it was just going to drop in the top corner. We're back on the attack in the next highlight. Randall bringing it away. Edwards on the right. Um, again, another player on Mayo. I'm really sad to sell, but I think it was right for the club. That wasn't who I was aiming for at all. Grant keeps possession. Mayo plays on. Edwards into his feet, into Whitaker. Whitaker into Randall again, and Randall with another finish. 85 minutes gone. That's 3-1. Randall's got a double, and that should be three points for Argyle against Barnsley. Edwards has been superb this save so far for us on that right wing back. But we've got Tom Hamer coming in from Burton, who's younger. Hopefully we'll develop further. And yeah, it's sad to see him go as the club captain, but he's reached his peak, and it is a good deal for us. So into the injury time. Ball comes into Randall, who's been superb. On to Hardy, who's run his heart out of this, save, uh, this game. Looking for Randall, can he get there for his hat trick? No, he can't quite make it. Well, that's game, and that is three points. A massive win, a good performance. Their goal was really frustrating with the way the defence dropped off, but it's three points. And next we face Wickham in the EFL Trophy. So what I've done here, is I've used the Atletico Madrid formation just to try wingers and two players up front so we've gone for a 3-1-4-2 Houghton's holding midfield he's anchoring it there and he's, he's the captain for this game with Edwards stepping out and Ennis gets his chance to start up front alongside Hardy as we look to progress towards Wembley in the EFL Trophy Wickham who we've played a few times already this season it feels Scowen is a good player Grimm is a great player we used to play for Coventry Jacobson's quality as well McCleary, they've got quality all the way through their side, so this could be a really tough game. Pleasing to see Azaz coming back from his injury. You know, he's played a couple of times now, he's made a couple of starts, and hopefully, in this match, he can continue to develop his fitness, get his sharpness back, and hopefully, we can see that plus two progress a little bit higher. Balls goes into Ennis, holds it up really nicely, has a shot from range, just goes over. He was heading towards that top corner, but the way he hit it across the ball, it was always going wide. Ooh, wasn't going wide, it was just a bit too high. Great, great effort though. 
Ennis is probably leaving the club at the end of the season when his contract runs out unless we can get him sold in January or we'll swap him out. And he's through on goal here. Great feet. Oh, that's a CBA goal. Ennis has always had potential. He's been one of those players on FIFA, on FM, that has always had decent potential but never quite made it. And giving him the opportunity to play up front alongside Hardy here is an opportunity for him to maybe earn a contract with us. Great feet just to get the ball back out and shot across the keeper. Goalkeeper animations a bit bit wonky. Well he didn't actually put his right arm out at all until the ball had gone past him, but great goal nonetheless, and it gives us a 1-0 lead against Wickham. Just before half time now we've got a corner. Ball to tennis, that's a touch of lead there. Into Butcher. Can't quite get out of his feet. Into Mayer. McCleary's going to bring it away. No, the referee's playing for half time. Always fear that we get caught on the counter attack after corners. So it was pleasing to see the whistle blow when it did. Into the second half now. Wickham are well on the attack. Handling through to. Oh, thankfully he was offside. Seeing that flag go up at the bottom of the screen was such a massive relief. Because we just. We tried to step up. But I wasn't sure if we'd made it in time. Great finish by the lad as well. Back on the attack, Hardy into Ennis. Ennis with the finesse shot into the bottom corner, but the keeper gets down well and saves. Keep the ball out for another corner to us. Next highlight, we obviously didn't make anything out of that corner, but Longwork wins it from the goal kick. Hardy holding the ball up in midfield, uses Randall back into Hardy. Out to Butcher, foot our oh, lovely first time round the corner to Whitaker. And Whitaker doesn't miss those. Whitaker's superb. He's been such a good player for us. And in real life, he's doing really well for Plymouth. So maybe he is a player we do look to make a permanent signing in January or at the end of the season, depending on who we, who else we can bring in. But what a goal. Makes it 2-0. Keeper looks dejected, but when you bend the ball into the bottom corner like that, he had no chance. Their defence was really high allowed us in behind and we could finish across the keeper without much trouble. You can see the keeper's come out, there's loads of space to his right and again animation doesn't look quite right but we take that. Making a sub here, we bring the younger players on to give them some game time. So hopefully we can see out a 2-0 after we nearly conceded a 3-0 win, a 3-0 lead against Accrington. It'd be great to see that we can hold the 2-0 here against Wickham, who are arguably a much better side than Accrington. They're keeping possession really nicely, but I hope oh, they're going to cut through us now. I was just about to say, hopefully we can just keep keep the stamp press up defence again. I'm not sure if it's just because we play three at the back, but our defensive awareness is appalling. And Wakeley scores. He's their centre-back. So... Very frustrating. He's just gone straight through the middle there. They've all just watched him. Scar 6, Longwick 21, both just watching him. No one marking him. Cooper can't do anything about that one. Very disappointing. Last five minutes of the game, we're on the attack. Is there room for one more goal? Butchers are on goal. And yes. That should secure the win with a late third as we push on. And hopefully that kills the game off and kills Wickham off. And we can move on to the next round of the Johnson's of the <laughs> Papa John's Trophy. Great ball into Hardy, holds it up nicely. Butcher makes that run through the defence, left foot to the side of the keeper. All the goals have gone that side. And again, oh, he did make an effort with his right hand that time. I didn't think the animation was going to show that. Game's winding down here, and that's it. Three-one win against Wickham. Really pleased to get the get through to the next round and it'd be great to get to Wembley in our first season if we can big performance Josh Scowen is a good player at this level but yet to be seen if we can do it in the next level up but at the end of the episode we are really looking comfy with seven points clear of Sheffield Wednesday still five points clear of Wickham who we just beat in the uh, Papa John's Trophy and we face Ipswich Derby and Bristol Rovers in the league when we play part two which will be coming in the next few days thanks again for your support guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and have a good one see you next time